Hey guys, I've tried to start this video a couple of different times and different things have happened so we're gonna try again and I was watching a few people and they were starting charcoal drawings with things like Apache helicopters and stuff like that. I think those things are real complicated and uh, they're not the easiest things to draw for, for starting out as a, a rookie artist so I thought I'd do a demo video on how I would set this up. So as you can see I've got a picture of an Apache helicopter right here and I'm going to do my rendition of it. It's not going to be an exact copy. Uh, I'm going to do the best I can. I'm going to set this up first. I'm sorry my camera's not focusing real well so I don't know what the problem is. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a sketchy line across the middle here. Now my drawing is going to be done quite a bit darker so that you guys can see the lines. Um, uh, on the ends of the lines, there's a slight angle where these the pods are. I'm not sure what the pods carry. They look like they might be, I don't know, some kind of radar thing. I don't know. Anyway, now I'm going to put an axis line where the closest line in the canopy is, right here. And I'm just going to start, start drawing. And we'll see how it turns out. Um, you know, we'll get a sketch in. This will just show you how I would start this drawing. And uh, you certainly can start it any way you would like. I'm going to start with this windshield because that seems to me to be a pretty important part of the drawing. I'm going to drop part of these pods. I think I'm going to make this wing a little bigger. And then this is going to come down like that. And because this is going to be a charcoal drawing, I don't really have to worry too much about scratchy lines or it looking perfect um, because it just doesn't have to be that way. Uh, I'm going to try and work this thing in, this shape here, like that, like so. It kind of does one of these things, kind of comes up a little bit further. Then we angle up a bit, like that. Just kind of trying to make sure my angles are right. Here's that. This comes down a little bit, then we go across to over to here. And this actually, we need another line here along the edge, right here. And we come out like that. Then we have this. And we're going to come down here. And here there's a line. And then there's the other side of this thing over here. We're going to bring this up like so. This is going to come down like so. And out here like this. Bring this up. Go like so. Come down a little bit. Uh, there we go. Looks pretty good. We're going to come across the bottom here with a line that kind of connects the two. And then we're going to come over here like that, come straight up here and here and we'll get a little piece there and we actually have the wing itself coming out of here it looks pretty good so far and this looks like it needs to come in like that and that looks pretty good, there's another little, little wing thing Right in the back, looks like it's coming off the rotor in the back, but you can see it right here. So there's that. And then we're going to put a few more spots in for the pod. I'm really staring at that top photocopy while I'm sketching. So I think I'm doing okay. Now we got to get this wing in like so. We're going to put in that. I don't worry about that. There's pylons on each wing for weapons and stuff. I'm not even going to worry about those yet. We're going to just get this main thing in here. This kind of, I don't know, maybe it's a radar thing. Uh, heck, I don't know. And then they're gonna, we got a pod that comes down here. Got another one right here. And then we get another one over right in here. Another one comes down right here. We'll come back to that in a little bit. Kind of setting up. It looks pretty good so far. This comes down like so. A little too much. We got a, looks like an engine 
right here kind of comes out to about that second pod here. So I'm looking at things and I'm thinking, okay, this comes down and it's lined up with that pod. So that's what I want to do. So I'm going to put in the rest of it right there. Okay, that looks pr pretty good. Got a line here we need to put in. Another one here. Then we got a circle. We need to get in there like so. Not perfect, but not bad. Looking good so far. Then we're coming right off this, right off of here. Here's a piece on the, the windshield, and, and that matches up with the motor on the other side. So we're here, coming down. We're going to here, like so. Uh, everybody loves how many times I say here in my videos, so I apologize for that ahead of time. Uh, we're going to see what we can do. Might have to kick this out a little further. As you can see, I haven't erased yet. I don't. When you're drawing, you're supposed to be drawing. It's not an exercise in erasing. I know I've made mistakes in this drawing, but I'm not ready to deal with them yet. I want to get the basic idea in. I think I'm getting it. I'll have to look at the video to really check it out. I would like to get some editing video, or editing software for these videos. I think that would be kind of fun to go into these and do some editing. So I'm just kind of blocking out areas. And like I said, this is going to be a charcoal drawing, so I'm going to throwing more stuff in there once we get the charcoal part going but I gotta have the basic idea and get this one rotor really gets close to us this one goes zooming off to the side so this is what we're looking at so far uh, I'm not really ready to do any of the, the weapons things yet I'm gonna uh, throw in a line for the wheel don't know if I'm gonna get too detailed into that We'll go like so. Let's see how that looks. Looks pretty good. We'll put the whole shape in. Kind of like that. The other one is way over here and it kind of comes down like this at a steeper angle. Itch my nose a little bit, sorry. And then I'm going to put the other wheel in. I'm hoping that you can see this pretty well. I'm going to get a kind of an oval shape in here for the wheel. The problem people have when they draw things that are this detailed is they start fussing too early. Like people will spend a half an hour just working on the windshield or this little part here or these parts there. That's really a waste of time, gang. you got to get the basics in. Once you get the basics in, then it's a little bit easier. There's a lot of stuff hanging off the bottom of this helicopter, so I'm going to... I'll just draw some of that in, kind of the basic shape. I don't know exactly what it is, but this is kind of the look of it. This comes like that, just like this. And this comes down like so. There and here. I don't know what that even is, really. We've got some shapes that we need to put in right here now right like so and uh, then again here there's that here again sorry about that one time I think I said here like a hundred and seventy times in the video kinda got a little carried away sorry about that there's all kinds of rounded things that you kinda wanna get in into this I'm gonna move this back just a little bit and maybe slide this line over just a bit and we'll just leave this space right there and we will go up here put something else in and that's not a perfect triangle there's a lot of stuff there's a lot of geometric shapes that are different these types and shapes of things on this it's really quite confusing 
I don't know that I would ever personally pick one of these to draw. They seem like they would be, you know, a challenge. Not that it's not a good thing to draw, it's just not my style. But it's good to challenge yourself and draw different things. And I saw helicopter drawing this week and thought, wow, I should really I should really try one. So I am. So I don't know what this gizmo is here, but it's well, I made this wing a little too high. I might need to bring this up actually. That needs to come up. Yep. And then there's a bunch of stuff on here. Not exactly sure what it is. I'm sure it's got something to do with killing stuff or shooting stuff. Anyway, not that that's just what our military does, because I know they do a whole lot more than that. But this is an attack helicopter, so I reckon that's its job. Anyway, there's that side. Let's go ahead and put some pylons on over here. Put it like this. And we're still recording pretty well, so that's good. Try to make the same size cylinder on this side and take it at the same angle. If we can get these two cylinders to look like they're at the same angle, we'll be doing pretty good. That's going to be the challenge. We may have to go in with some charcoal and chalk and fix that later. This thing has got all kinds of stuff hanging off of it. So I'm going to just put in a few things. And then there's this bit that hangs down here, and there's this something else that's right here, you know, and that's kind of our sketch for right now, we'll fill in some of these rotor shapes, they come in kind of like that, and come over like so, so basically, I'm, I'm beginning to be ready to put some charcoal in here, there's stuff I'm missing as I look at it. There's little things that are going to make this drawing more interesting if I can get them put in. But I'm not an expert on helicopters. So those of you who are experts on helicopters, I apologize if I've missed things. Oh, I forgot the tail rotor. And that's actually right here. That's hugely important. There's that. And then there's a piece that sticks right out there. It's kind of rounded there. I'm kind of going to go here. Looks like this has got a little square in it here. That goes like that. This comes out like so. Looks like we got a rotor here. We got another one coming down like that. And another one coming up like this. Honestly, if. Uh, if I were grading sketches right now, this would get a pretty high sketch grade because in just a bit of time, almost 15 minutes, we're able to sketch in what we're looking at here. Now, it's not perfect. Like, this wing is a little higher up than this one, so I think what I need to do, actually, I need to make this one a little bit longer, and since i got to make it longer anyway, I'm going to thin it out a little, bring out this pod thing here it's in the right spot it's just not long enough there and I'm gonna make this oh actually there's not this is the tail rotor this is part of the tail rotor back here so maybe this is fine and this is fine and I just gotta define that that is that's what that is it's the it's the tail section I screwed up there there I didn't see it right Probably looking at my hand too much, not not paying attention to what I'm supposed to be looking at, which is this. It's also a little doohickey thing coming out this way. It's got a little circle on the end. It's got a little thing like that. Looks like something like that. There's another one on this side. Put that in. So in about 15 minutes, we're able to pretty much capture this image. I think it's but it's, it's decent, you know, it's not perfect, but it's, it looks pretty good.
Um, I still think maybe this this wing isn't long enough. I don't know. I can't decide. And I think this is too close together. I think if I was going to do it, I was going to redo anything, I'd probably pop this pod out here a little more. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll just drop it down, put another circle here on this part, drop this down here. Looks pretty decent. Uh, yeah, yeah. So there you see it. I made a mistake, and that's a good thing to see because, and there's a pretty dark shadow here, so I should be able to cover that up with charcoal. Probably am going to erase this, but you need to see that the first thing I do is not grab my eraser. The first thing I did was to, to continue drawing because I'm not confused by it. I know what's wrong, so I'm using what I do know to fix it. Now this pod thing here, this is gonna be changed. So yeah, did I just slide that out? So I'm gonna get rid of that here in a minute, uh, probably with an eraser. So I do erase once in a while. If I don't erase on the final drawing, this will look confusing. And the problem is I drew really dark for the for it to show up on the camera. So I'm going to have to get a little creative about how to hide those marks. So you'll have to tell me if I did a good job or not. Looks like we got a piece I missed here on the top, the cap of the, the cap on top of the, the rotors. There's a lot of stuff in here. We'll just have to put that in in charcoal. There's some little lines here and a little line sticking out here and another one like that. But I think, all in all, not a, not a terrible drawing. As a sketch, I would definitely give this high marks. Um, just because I got everything done. It's at 17 minutes on the dot here. Not too shabby for a sketch. So if I let you sketch for 7 to 10 minutes, uh, I would be, I'd say, 3 quarters of the way done with this. Uh, if you take a little more time. You get all the points. There you go. So there's my helicopter sketch. It's going to be a charcoal drawing. I'll probably try to work on that uh, sometime this week. Will be kind of hectic because it's homecoming week here in Hot Springs. So be safe, guys. Uh, take care of yourselves. I love you. And hang in there and have a great day.